Okay, so for this problem, we have a whole bunch of for loops, and we need to track them so that we can produce a specific type of output. That output needs to look like that. So again, we start with a whole bunch of ones. It looks like we print them five times, and four twos, three threes, etc., etc. So if we quickly just kind of take a look at all these ifs of our for loops, we can hopefully begin to eliminate a lot of them very quickly. This one right here, let's see. Uh, double for loop, the inner for loop says to print j five times the first, yeah, five times. So the problem here is that we should not be printing out j five times. Nope, that's a good thing. Now, if j increments by one, k is still going to equal one at the very beginning. And it still goes up to 5, and so it's actually going to print 2 5 times. Therefore, this is not the correct option for this one. We can quickly eliminate that A will not give us what we need. If we look at the second for loop, let's see what kind it's going to give us here. Um, we have uh, J starting at 1, and so let's go into the inner for loop k is equal to 1 it says here while k is less than or equal to j in this case 1 is equal to 1 so it's going to print j once well we need to print j or the number 1 5 times and so b is not an answer either so we go to c we do the same thing we have j is equal to 1 this one starts with 5 and it's printing out j and then it's decrementing each time the problem is it's going to decrement or print it that many times each time so that means let's say that j is equal to 2 the inner for loop would run too many times so therefore this will also not work finally let's take a d if we're looking at d again good conditions there 1 through 5 here we have k is greater than or equal to j so what we needed is the fact that the inner for loop the number of time it runs has to decrease so as you can see here we start with one printed five times and then as soon as we get to five five is only printed once and so if we take a look at the inner for loop here does that meet our criteria so when j is equal to one it needs to be printed five times which would be the case here as long as k is greater than or equal to one so now let's go with the other case where j is equal to 2, 2 needs to be printed 4 times and so if we do that we're going to have a printout for 5, 4, 3, 2 and so that should do it 4 times and then finally 3, 2, and 1 so right now this is a good candidate and for this problem, this is a good candidate and it's also the only solution because it's not the ones where you can select more than one. And so that should finish off this problem. It's D.